Okay, chloroplasts are the organelle that where photosynthesis takes place. And just like we looked at the anatomy of the mitochondria, we're going to look at the anatomy, close-up anatomy of the chloroplast. This is a, 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 what, a picture, that was a tough word to come up with, of a chloroplast. And again, I want you to notice that there is an outer membrane, an intermembrane space, and an inner membrane. The intermembrane space is irrelevant for us when we're talking about the process of photosynthesis. I do want you to notice that they, the chloroplast also has its own DNA, its own ribosomes. The key structures that we're going to look at here are these uh, flattened stacks of pancakes inside the chloroplast. So let's draw a picture because that's how my brain works. And um, we'll label the parts that are important for you to know. I do, wow, that's a huge chloroplast. Do you see that, yeah, it totally looks different than the mitochondria already. It looks very different. It does have its own cytoplasm. The cytoplasm in a chloroplast is called stroma. It also has those little stacks of pancakes. And so I'm going to draw them like this. They have space inside them. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, that is very good. Look, I'm drawing more. Whoa. Sure. And then there's going to be more. Okay, whatever. So you get the idea, and now watch. The whole stack is called a granum. That's singular. Plural is grana. So I'm going to write that down too. Grana, like grandma. Grana, grana is plural. So there are three grana in my chloroplast drawing, and this is one granum. A granum is made up of several structures called thylakoids, and the thylakoid is a single pancake. This is a thylakoid. In this granum, I have one, two, three, four thylakoids. I have a total of 8, 9, 10, 11 thylakoids in my drawing. There is a thylakoid space. Okay, I'm going to turn this into thylakoid space because, look, I'm pointing to the inside of it. And then I'm going to turn this into a thylakoid. Do you, I've told you that it's really similar to cellular respiration. Are you feeling the love like, oh, this space has some potential here? Maybe something, something's going to be happening inside my thylakoid. True story. I think those are all the pieces. Ah, it's green. It's green for a reason, dog pounds. It's green because there are pigments embedded in these thylakoids. And, whoa, there. Look at all my pigments. There are, I'm going to tell you what they're called. It's chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a pigment that's embedded in all, and it's why my chloroplasts look green. All right. What's the point of a chloroplast? Remember that we're taking energy, light energy from the sun here, and we're somehow turning that light energy into sugar. What? And that happens in the chloroplast. So light energy. We have to take a second. We have to do a little aside on light and figure out what exactly is light. 
in order to make this whole thing happen.